Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast where we are going to be solving this engineering mechanics of problem and it reads uh, determine the shear moment as a function of x and then draw the shear and the moment diagrams. This problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics of statics uh, textbook 13th edition by Arasif Bella. So we have a cantilever beam which is fixed at A and we have the point load three meters from A at the very end. So to start with, we're going to draw the free body diagram. At A, we expect AY, AY, we also expect AX, we also expect moment, okay? And moment, we're going to assume it in the anti-clockwise direction, right? which is MA. Okay, sorry. Let me write it. That is our MA. All right. So let's apply the equations of equilibrium. Um, so we have summation of moments about point A equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. All right, what do we have? We have a negative moment due to the six kilonewtons. That's six times three. Mm -hmm. Then plus MA equal to zero. And therefore, our MA is just going to be equal to 18 kilonewtons meter. Then we have summation of forces in the Y equal to zero. Mm -hmm. What do we have? We have AY minus six equal to zero. And therefore, our AY is just going to be equal to six kilo newtons and then finally we have summation forces in the x direction equal to zero of course we know that ax is just going to be equal to zero so we can replace these values we have moment of 18 in the same direction and then we have ay uh, of 6 in the same direction and then we have AX of zero. Great. So we have been asked to find the function that defines shear and later on also moment. And after we've done so, then we draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. Okay. So let's do the section of the beam. There. Again, of course, in this particular problem, they want us to start from A, but it doesn't matter where you start from, right? You could start from, you could use, because we have two sections right now, right? We have the left-hand section and the right-hand section. So it doesn't matter which one you use, or if I want to go with the easiest. But in this problem, they've told us that's from the labeling it is showing that we're supposed to use the left hand section. So let's use what the problem wants us to use. But you are not restricted to that if they have not specified. Right. So we have six kilonewtons and then we have a moment of 18 kilonewtons meter. Okay, and we are making a section at x in that direction like so. So let's call this point as my point one. Okay, so let me call my shear as my v1, my moment as m1, 
uh, we know normal force this is going to be equal to zero so I'll just forget about it right for now I'll not include it okay right so now let's apply the equations of equilibrium quickly summation of moments about point one equal to zero anti-clockwise in our reference what do we have um of course we do have a minus six times x okay this is clockwise and then we have plus 18 mm -hmm, plus m1 equal to zero okay let me create some space like so therefore our m1 which is the function of x will be equal to m1 is going to be equal to um 6x mm -hmm, minus 18 okay so that's the function of that's the function that defines mo the moment and then we have summation of forces in the y equal to zero let's find what shear is so we have a six uh, minus v1 equal to zero therefore v1 which is a function of x is just going to be equal to six which is just a constant value so we have two equations or two functions which are both functions of x so let's draw uh, the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram all right uh, sorry there we go okay So for shear, like we said, uh, V of X is equal to six. Okay. So we expect a six throughout. So at A, uh, let me just also just indicate plus and minus, plus and minus. All right. So at A, we have a six, we have a six going up like that. Let's imagine this is a yeah, six um, up to here. This is six kilonewtons positive and it's constant throughout. Okay, it's constant throughout. We don't have anything there. Therefore we expect the slope of our shear to be zero then when it reaches this point it sums up with this six mind you then we need to add up algebraically we have a six minus six equal to zero so it has to close up right okay so this is basically a shear diagram for uh yeah for the shear Mm -hmm. and then let's draw the, the, the bending moment diagram let's draw the bending moment diagram we have this function which is just a linear function so we need to be mindful let's look at the boundary conditions at A we do have a reaction force which is a moment mm -hmm. we do have a moment which is and clockwise or counter clockwise right so how do we deal with that moment which is a counter clockwise so this is already been taken care of by our equation 
okay so when you are drawing without an equation of course is you have to follow certain rules here we have an equation mx which is just equal to 6x uh, 6x minus 18 so when x is equal to 0 we expect a negative moment which just makes sense right because when we have one counter uh, clockwise okay if you took a section here you'll have a clockwise right just a section just just before just before just the section there all right you'll have a counter you have a clockwise moment which just matches with our equation right negative so when x is equal to zero we expect a negative let me just move this somewhere there like this mm -hmm. so we'll have a negative value negative value Let's say this is the negative value of 18 when x is equal to 0. So this is our 18 kilonewtons meter. And then uh, we have a positive gradient of 6, right? So when x is equal to uh, 3, that becomes 6 by 3, 18. 18 minus 18 is what? zero so this is a linear equation with a positive uh, gradient right and again this makes sense because when you look at the shear diagram the shear is constant and positive constant and positive right shear is positive and constant what do you expect uh i mean Yes, this is shear. Sorry, this is our shear. Okay, what do you expect? The slope of our moment is going to also be equal to positive and constant. Constant. All right. So this just makes sense. So this is just going to be a straight line up to there like that. Great. Mm -hmm. And this is negative. This is negative. Okay. So I think this is about it, really. This is about it. Uh, we have uh, drawn uh, the shear and the bending moment diagram using the two equations. And the two equations, we have them. We have one here. Uh huh. This is governing the whole span from A, from A to this point is B, from A to B. And we have this other equation for shear. Of course, the first one is for moment, and then this one at the bottom, shear. All right, and then we've drawn the diagram. Now, this is about it, and I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, and continue uh, subscribing. Bye-bye, and see you in my next uh, screencast.